<laughs> have you seen the von eric's film trailer i had seen the trailer yes uh and it it, it gave me goosebumps uh it really did because you know again i knew carrie so well but i was coming up in the business uh when i first heard about david dying in, in tokyo and uh you know was in the business and stepping into the business when you know this this recurring awful curse on this family had just kept happening and kept happening and then knowing carrie so well and when he uh committed suicide it threw me because having traveled you know when you're on the road you talk about just about everything and carrie was not he did not shy away from talking about those tragedies in his family uh and he used to tell me uh, on suicide you can't do that man and right, God don't allow that. So when I heard that he had done that, uh, and and Carrie was a good guy. I I I know Kevin esoterically, uh, also a good guy, but uh, I didn't know David. I didn't know the other brothers. Uh, uh, I had met Fritz once or twice, but like a kid, hey, how you doing? Um, you know, that, that, that's a, that's an awful thing that you that you place on a family. And I, and I'll say this about Kevin. When we were working on that promotion, trying to get it off the ground for Las Vegas, uh, we were in touch. We desperately wanted to work with Ross and uh, Marshall. And Kevin was very much the doting father that I would be. Um, if I'm going to let you have my kids, I'm going to make damn sure you're not going to let happen to my kids what else has happened. And, you know, as a father, Kevin, good job. But I'm, I'm eager to see the, the show in a... Uh, in a weird backward kind of way, uh, you know, I, I know the story. You know, I, I know the story intimately well, uh, but I want to watch and see it because I think if nothing else, Kevin shows a redemption in this, right? I mean, there's a, a perseverance there that he could have easily succumbed to. He could have easily gone down that same path and would have just been another chapter in that tragedy, but instead gets completely away from it. Uh, and now has uh, two two sons that he's guiding into the business and and you know looking out for. Uh, that's the part that I want to see is is because that's the part I'm really unfamiliar with. After Carrie died, uh, you know, like I didn't really have any connection to the family other than talking with Kevin for for this promotion with about using Ross and Marshall. So yeah, I, I'm very eager to see it. I also want to see it because I you know. I, I, World class championship wrestling was such a big part of my upbringing, like especially that that those moments before stepping into the business, and uh, you know, like the uh, uh, the Sportatorium documentary and things, which I thought were phenomenal. Uh, I'm eager to see how much of that, if if, if any of that, they get into. With uh, that being said, I'm, I'll run through a couple of things and because a couple of these questions have asked Dutch as well. So in case you're wondering why they're a bit familiar, uh, Zach Efron stars as Kevin Von Erich. Uh, Lily James uh, is also in it as the love interest. Maura Tini, uh, who's in uh, ER as Abby Lockhart, and she was see I remember her from as Jim Carrey's wife and ex-wife in Liar Liar. <laughs> yeah. Um and I also oh, MJF plays the fake Von Eric Lance, Von Eric, which is amazing. And yeah. also my uh, suggestion that Dog the Bounty Hunter play Michael Hayes fell on deaf ears. <laughs> that would have been a great, great, yeah. great casting. But I would have thought it'd be, I, I would have thought it'd been good. What do you think of Efron's running of the ropes at the beginning? I thought it was quite impressive. What astounded me was how much he looked like Carrie. Um, yeah, but he's playing Kevin. That's the problem. Or, I thought I mean, he looked like Kevin, Carrie. Kevin is, yeah, yeah. He looks like Carrie, but and so when I first saw the trailer, that's who I thought he was playing. Uh, you know, it's. <sighs> How they do this in in, in uh, uh, Hollywood, you know how these guys? Because you know Zach's not a huge guy, right? And Carrie was a pretty big boy. Yeah, we've got five um, five foot eight Zach Efron. Yeah, yeah, and Carrie was what like six one ish, six two ish, uh, and you know really knew his way around a weight room. Uh, but you know it's it's enough that you can suspend the disbelief, especially those of us that knew the family. Um, and uh, you know. It, it's going to be interesting to see how Hollywood puts its tilt on this. And, and you know, these kind of shows, they're, they're, you know, they, they sometimes play loose with facts and that kind of thing. And I'm a stickler on stuff like that because having, again, having known it, uh, uh, a lot of that inside story. Um, but the fact, I, I think it bespeaks for, for, you know, for what the Von Erichs meant to wrestling when Hollywood's doing a major movie and having, you know, that cast of characters play in it. Uh, you, you know, it's, 
again, there's like this yin and yang part of it, right? You know, like when I when I think of it, like there's there's so much tragedy to it, and you know, and for, for fans out there that aren't aware, there was a there was a sister that had died when she was like two or three, fell in a mud puddle, I think, or like a, a water puddle and drowned in the water puddle. Uh, that, that, uh, was, that was the first son, Jack Junior, I think. Oh, was it a son? I thought it was yeah, a daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's called Jack Junior. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, and, you, know, you look at this and think, my God, like this is like a curse on this family, right? It's like one of those King Tut's tomb curse, curse type things. But uh, but, but the thing uh, is, is that yeah. if you watch the trailer itself, it's it mostly seems like a love story and only like a bit of tragedy because there's like a funeral scene in it. But then that's yeah. almost glossed over. You know, you've got the hard nosed father Fritz because there's a bit of the dining table where he says, right. "At the moment, I love you in this order, but that can always change." Which yes, which is yeah. a bizarre thing to. Uh, I don't know if it was ever said or not, but who knows? But I'm wondering what the tone of the film is going to be because, as Same you here. as you said, you can't talk about the von Oaks without just basically just talking about two hours of tragedy, essentially. Right. So I'm wondering what angle they will take with uh, uh, the story and liberties, if any, as well. Yeah, uh, and I'm sure there will be liberties, uh, but also, like, I, you know. For, uh, if I've talked about this before, I, pro- I apologize. But you know, as I each time I sit down to, to work on 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 a book, you know, about my career, uh, I find myself digressing to these uh, darker places, and I don't want the book to be that. I want the book to be. I still have an eye, a wide eyed wonderment of the business. There are still times I look around and go, "How the hell did I get here? Why does anybody want to watch me on a podcast?" Uh, and I want to convey that. And so like, you got to find this balancing act. Uh, for me, the movie has to detail some of the tragedy, right? You can't have this, you know, this family that's so universally seen as being cursed. Uh, and I don't believe Kevin thinks that, uh, but, but like from my outside looking in, 